Before we jump into this mailbag, subscribe to the channel as we are going to continue to hit you guys with the latest Chicago Bears news, rumors, and updates as they come in. We're not going anywhere, so hit that sub button. We'll have you covered all season long. I'm your host, Harrison Graham, and it is mailbag time here on Chicago Bears Now, so be sure to get your questions in. Hashtag Bears or Super Chat. We'll answer as many as we possibly can here. First up is from Jay Bills. He says, if not Johnson, Jackson Smith, and Jigba, or, uh, or uh, Jordan Addison, pick one of these. Flowers, Hyatt, or Rice. Rasheed Rice, Zay Flowers, or Jalen Hyatt. I would throw Josh Downs into that category as well. I like Jalen Hyatt a lot. Was he just a one-hit wonder at Tennessee? I don't know. I think he's probably got the most upside, uh, but um, I think that uh, I would pick him out of the rest of them. Tyler Coffey, if the Bears sign Deron Payne or any defensive tackle that are good, should the Bears still draft Carter if he's on the board and if Anderson isn't on the board? It's a good question. I would guess they probably wouldn't, but I wouldn't rule it out like – if you can't trade down, I think you just have to take the best player. And if that and that, if that scenario is Jalen Carter, like a Jalen Carter, Deron Payne defensive tackle combo would be nasty. I mean, that would be really, really good. So I'd still be okay with that. Uh, but obviously, filling other needs would be something you'd try to do as well. From Bruce Carlson, will the Bears cut Cody Whitehair this off season? Um, it's a good question. <sighs> I think there's a decent chance. Now, I'm not as confident in it as I was a few weeks ago, and here's why. Because if he's a pre-June 1st cut, we got the numbers down here, you say $5.8 million against the cap, decent number, right? Well, the dead cap hit is actually still over $8 million, so you're eating more than half there. If it's a post-June 1st cut, it saves you almost $10 million, and you're saying, okay, we'll just po post-June 1st cut him. Well, yeah, that sounds good in theory, but you don't get that money until after June 1st, and free agency is mostly done by then. So I could actually see them running it back with Cody for one more year uh, and then maybe cutting him the next year because he's actually got two years left on his deal. I would focus on center and right tackle. What do those two positions look like? If Whitehair's the weak, you know, if he's the weak link at left guard, he's still decent. Like, he's not a bad player by any means. So uh, I think uh, – I think that could come into play here. Now, what do you guys think? Should the Bears cut Cody Whitehair this offseason? Type C for cut or K for keep? Again, you could talk me into either way, but if you pre-June first cut him and you save $5.8 million, are you getting a player of his caliber to replace him at $5.8 million in free agency? Probably not. Probably not. From Andy M., would you draft a center or sign a free agent? And if so, who? Um... I'm okay with either. Um, you know, we've talked about a few different names uh, in both free agency and in the draft. You know, there's, you know, Georgia has a center. Notre Dame's got a center. Minnesota's got a center. Arkansas's got a center. That All those guys could go second, third round. Uh, there's a few free agent names uh, that I'm interested in. I don't know why I'm drawing blanks. Mitch Morris did sign an extension, so he's not available, but... Um, there, there, there are guys that you can get that would be upgrades from what you have. I'll just say that. From Peloton, did the Bears dodge a bullet passing on Pickens with Pickens' recent on-field issues? Uh, and will the Bears passing on Christian Watson come back uh, to bite them, seeing his recent breakout? Look, uh, I said the other day, I, I, look, I might have been wrong about Christian Watson. My biggest concern with him was not a ton of experience, and he had a big drop button problem coming out of college if he could fix the drop problem though he's very explosive we saw that firsthand against the Bears so you know we'll time will tell to see if the Bears made a mistake passing on him uh, a lot of that will come down to is how does Kyler Gordon progress I mean is he going to be uh, a true starting corner in this league uh, if not then I would say they probably missed out now if he turns into a really good corner for a long time you know, it's pick your poison. You got better on defense versus offense. If the Bears get a good receiver in this draft that's uh, better than Christian Watson or similar caliber, you know, I wouldn't say they missed out. William Bulmer, who is your top free agent for 2023 that you believe would perfectly fit in Chicago? Deron Payne is probably my top guy. If you could get him at defensive tackle, that would be huge. Um, now, obviously, he's uh, – 
you know, a, a guy that is a franchise tag candidate for Washington, I would be surprised if they didn't tag him. But if they don't for whatever reason, that is a guy to go get because he is a game changer as an interior pass rusher. Shout out to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's show. And if you want to save some money, which is very important for all of us, uh, Rocket Money is going to help you do that. Go download the app today, rocketmoney.com slash bears. Now it's rocketmoney.com slash bears. No, download it for, for free. And here's the deal. Most Americans think they spend around 80 months, $80 per month, excuse me, on subscriptions when the actual total is over $200. That's right. You could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. This app that I use, Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is going to take that problem for you just like, or take care of that problem for you just like it has for me. This app shows all of your subscriptions in one place, then cancels whichever ones you don't w still want. Say Netflix, charge them too much, you don't want anymore, click the cancel button, boom, they'll take care of it. No longer will get billed. Same with Hulu or any other subscription, they'll take care of it. Uh, all you got to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. So start saving money, get rid of useless subscriptions that you don't use anymore by going to rocketmoney.com slash bears. Now it is rocketmoney.com slash bears now use our link to download the app for free on iphone or android james says how do you feel about the bears trading down and getting another first round pick and then flipping that pick uh for a true number one receiver interesting idea uh you know trading down get an extra pick and then you know i don't know i'll throw a hypothetical trading that pick for you know like terry mclaurin or something like that uh, maybe um i i wouldn't rule that out completely um i think that could happen I don't that that's a lot of moving parts on draft night unless you do it you know make that trade before the draft but uh wouldn't rule it out we've seen weirder trades from Luke Thompson Claypool is looking really underwhelming so far we gave up a first round pick for him kinda um yeah I mean it's gonna be an early second round pick so but remember this free agent class of receivers not very strong I mean the only one that's probably better than Claypool is Juju Smith Schuster um, so I understand why they did it, and I think we have to give this time. And I don't think we can properly judge that great trade until after next season. Uh, full off season coming up for him and Fields to develop more together. Uh, and these final four games are important for that reason. They need to start building more chemistry. Super chat coming in from Keem. Resigning Nikhil Harry would be another big wide receiver that Fields needs. Availability is the number one ability. Prioritize O-line, D-line, and offensive weapons. Um... I would like to bring back Nikhil Harry. I don't think as a top three guy, but say you draft or sign a receiver that's going to start with uh, Moody and Claypool. Harry is your number four. I'd be good with that. Now, they seem to like Equinemia St. Brown better than Nikhil Harry for some reason, but uh, I, uh, I, w I hope Nikhil Harry gets some PT these final four games because it seems like every time he gets a chance, he seems to make a play. Trade Talk Sports, what do you think about adding Juju Smith-Schuster and then Quentin Johnston and what would the wide receiver core look like? Well, if you sign Juju and draft Quentin Johnston, it's, you know, you got those two guys, Claypool and Mooney. That's pretty damn good. Uh, I don't think they would do both of those things, uh, but if you did, I mean, you'd go four strong right there. Valus could be your five, and who knows if you even have a sixth. Maybe bring back EQ or Nikhil Harry. Paleo, could we treat the final game like a preseason game and just play tons of guys like backups and just see how they do? Absolutely. Of course you could. Of course you could. Now, uh, you know, or maybe Justin Fields plays a half or something like that. So, yeah, I think that's possible. Uh, I think you'll see some experimentation down the stretch of playing some young guys like an Alex Leatherwood, uh, for example. So, yeah, I could, I could definitely see that being the case. Now, name a random Bears player down in the comments. Think all time, not necessarily current, just random guys like, oh, man, I totally forgot that guy was even a Chicago Bear. Name a random Bears player. I want to see what names you come up with. From Bailey, should we move on from Santos? He's missed a couple key field goals this year. Yeah, I mean, look, for people who – I'm not even saying you're saying that, but for people who are saying to move on from Santos, just remember, between Robbie Gold and Santos, this team was in kicker hell. I'm not saying Santos is a top five kicker in this league, but he's pretty damn solid, and you don't want to have to fill that void too. If you get rid of him, you got to get someone else. Who are you getting out there that's better? There's probably not a better option right now, so I don't think I'm getting rid of Santos. The one thing I don't love about him is he doesn't have the strongest legs, so, you know, 
you can't try like 58, 59 yarders at the end of halves, end of games, stuff like that. Remember when Nagy had him try a 65 yarder last year, and it it landed on like the goal line. It wasn't even close. So that's the one kind of bugaboo about him. He doesn't have a strong leg, but uh, he's inside 50. He's pretty close to automatic. I know he's missed a couple recently, but he's still been good, guys. Like he's 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 been a solid kicker for this team. From Kane, will Leatherwood most right guard reps? Will Leatherwood get the most? I don't think so. Tevin Jenkins is going to play right guard. Could he get some left guard reps? Maybe. Um, I don't think they're going to move Jenkins around, though. So if you meant right tackle, then I hope so. I hope he gets the right tackle reps. From Busy Womack, what free agent corner would you consider signing? Got to look at the list, but uh, I would see if there's upgrades from uh, Kendall Vildor out there because uh, I think Jalen Johnson's rock solid. I would extend him this offseason. Gordon's obviously going to play a role. Uh, hopefully he continues to improve. And then uh, I would upgrade from Builder at that other CB spot. Peloton, would Jacoby Myers fit on the Bears? Yeah, he's a guy I would sign. Um, I like Jacoby Myers. You bring him in here, draft a receiver, I think you, you've upgraded. Now, you may not still have your true number one in that scenario unless the draft guy becomes that or unless Mooney or Claypool elevates to that. I, I still think they're more in that wide receiver two category. Myers is kind of like a wide receiver three, uh, but uh, I, I would like him on this team for sure. Kent Merritt, where has Gordon and Brisker been? Harrison, we need our youth. They've been in the concussion protocol, you know, so can't mess with head injuries, but uh, they're back. They'll play this week, and uh, that's very good. William Bomer signed Rodney Hudson. He was a center name that uh, was blanking my mind. Yeah, one two-year deal. You know, he's a little bit older. Hadn't played as good this year, but uh, I think on a one or two-year deal, he's a veteran with experience. Uh, I'd be open to that. Not my top choice, but uh, would be a guy uh, to monitor in free agency. Follow me on social media. It's at HGramNFL on both Twitter and Instagram. If we didn't get to your questions here, I apologize. Uh, we will try to get to as many as we can very, very soon at HGramNFL on Twitter and on Instagram uh, if you want to uh, ask your questions. And Keem gets the final question in here. Da, I meant right tackle. Any free agent thoughts on center? Hudson, another name out there like you just mentioned there, Keem. So I got you, man. Appreciate the super chat.